Okay, what do we have today? This is a, uh, a fresh dump pick. Um, this was found in its original box in brand new condition at the, at, uh, the dump by my friend Walter at the Fairfield, Connecticut dump. Um, it still has the original skin on the display board. It has the original skin on the, uh, on the cabinet top. Never been peeled off. Uh, the reason it was in the dump is because it doesn't work. <clears throat> now, it, it works sort of. When you, this is, a, by the way, a Dexus, a Dexus DST HD 1100K. This was made in 2002, and what it is, it's an HDTV component style converter box so that you can hook up a monitor to, uh, to this and watch high definition TV from your cable or whatever. You can either do over the air or cable. On the back panel, what we have is you have your basic uh, antenna input connector right there. You have an upgrade port. You have your monitor output right there for the for a PC monitor. Or you have a HDTV output, the typical YPBPR and left and right audio. Uh, S video connector. You have a display format selector. You can go between 480 uh, to 720 to 1080 uh, to 1080i. And the, the, DT, the digital TV output selection here for the uh, you can go to uh, either monitor or a uh, component style uh, NTSC monitor. Um, it has re the, it even had the uh, the remote control was in it was in the box all the cables and the instruction book everything was there. Now hooking this up and doing an auto scan that part works. It scans the stations and the, the way this does scan is it has a uh, <clears throat> What am I thinking of here? It has an indicator that tells you when it's found stations and when it hasn't. And it first scans all the analog cable stations from uh, 2 to 125. It does that fine. When it finds a station, it switches from white lettering to orange lettering. When it switches to DTV scanning, it scans another 125 positions for digital reception, but it never finds any stations. Now, on the remote, you can select and force digital reception than the number. If you do that, it just comes up with no signal. So something's not working right, obviously. And that's probably why it, uh, it went out. Now, I've found almost nothing about this thing online. There is a... Whoops, I just took a screw out of this thing. And I did not see this before, otherwise I would have looked further. I don't have the time to do it right now. The board is impressive. you got to say, that thing looks beautiful. It's a gorgeous looking circuit board. Too bad it doesn't work. There's the tuner right there. It's got your basic, typical switching power supply you find in a DVD player. Um, the front panel is a simple LED readout. It's not LCD, it's just a plain LED readout. It's got onboard clock and all that other stuff. And there's your, your, your working RAM, your static RAM, your EEPROM is over here. I don't like these magic carpet ICs here. The ones that have uh, the long ones with with uh, leads only on one on two sides, they tend to uh, not solder well. I may try resoldering that. I don't know, but I'm hoping somebody has a uh, has some experience with these or has any knowledge about these at all. Because otherwise, I'm, what I'm going to do is just throw it up on eBay and just sell it as a as the junk that it is. At this point, one of the things I don't care about, or care for about it, is you can't adjust this thing. Once you have a picture, there's no menu for color, contrast, brightness, tint, and all that stuff. That's kind of a drawback to me. Uh, if your monitor can do that, then it's fine. And the picture quality for what it gets is good, but it just can't get any digital TV reception, and that's a sad thing. So hopefully, we can get this thing figured out. And uh, oh, the uh, website for the manufacturer says right there on the bottom of the board. This is uh, www.dsstreamtech.com. dstreamtech.com. So, I don't know. I may look, at look into them later on. But maybe we can get this thing working.